love to welcome everybody into the uh, M1 Finance account. This is second of uh, three accounts that I have. This is um, the uh, second largest of the uh, M1 Finance accounts that I have. This takes on a uh, kind of a mind of its own here as a, a passive diversified portfolio using the power of Vanguard's uh, sector specialty ETFs. I know that's a mouthful for you guys that are uh, tuning into this for the first time here. A couple of reasons why I do this, and I, I think technology is a, a wonderful. It allows me to come in here and share with you guys real results. This is a real portfolio. This is uh, this is my personal account. Um, it's a taxable account. M1 Finance does offer both ta uh, taxable accounts uh, and uh, Roth IRAs, unlike Robinhood. You guys really need to double check your uh, approach here. If you're looking to start a, a beginning wealth building account for yourself, there's no better wealth building account than M1 Finance. It's just that simple. Uh, and um, this portfolio in its uh, totality, I do share in the description below. You guys can have it. Uh, it's yours. If you do click on the link, uh, it is affiliated with uh, with myself and the Independent Investor Channel. Uh, compliments of M1 Finance. Um, I stand behind M1 Finance. I, I'm obviously a, a, a product user. Uh, I'm an advocate for uh, advocate for M1 Finance because of a lot of different reasons. Um, these uh, the M1 Finance really takes and it takes and, and turns investing on its head. It allows you to build the portfolio the way you want it up front. Um, you you, you want to do uh, an 11 ETF portfolio like I've done? Great, um, you can have it. It's like I said, it's in the description below for you. You can take it. All you've got to do is fund it. There's no picking of any stocks. There's no picking of ETFs. Uh, if you enjoy the allocation that I have, this portfolio has all obviously worked, and it's just getting started. Uh, this was started in um, earlier 2019, so I've had this just over three years. And, uh, you know, in the investing game, three years is nothing. I tell you, I, a lot of people will uh, turn their wheels and, and churn and, and sputter and do everything they can do to justify cryptocurrency losing 50% over here and, you know, maybe gaining 10% over here. And, you know, you end up flip-flopping back and forth. And at the end of the three years, you, you've really just ran in quicksand the entire time and hadn't made any progress. But this is real progress. Um, net inflows of this uh, via dollar cost averaging at just shy of 18,000, 6,500 of capital gains, as well as a, a $631 stipend via dividends. Uh, these all pay at the same time, so it's kind of cool. It's like winning the lottery once every uh, once every quarter. Uh, so four times a year, these uh, pay out, uh, and it's nice. I think the last payout for me was around 78 bucks. On this portfolio and, and a, a portfolio just shy of 25,000 not too shabby to start to render and, and identify with the power of, of uh, uh, passive investing I, I don't do anything to this which is which is great uh, I free up my time this works for me and it works in a very very powerful way uh, and so the risk to the reward is huge in that I don't really take a whole lot of risk I buffer my downside in here by diversifying across thousands of holdings, the sector uh, ETFs. And for you guys that don't understand what that what that is, um, I'll explain it here in just a sec. But I just want to show you the chart, uh, slightly leaning to the right, exactly what we want. It's um, you know small strategic fund ups here over time that we've taken. This is the the big volatility that everybody's talking about here in the market. <laughs> but um, here's the eleven slices this represents the 11 sectors of the s p you can kind of see this is just a strategic breakdown of the markets and you don't have to do it this way you can own the s p 500 outright m1 finance if you had the s p 500 in m1 you would only have one etf and there's schools of thought that would uh, suggest that that's a, a better way to go i own the vti and I own the VOO. The VOO I own in my Roth IRA. This is not a Roth. This is a taxable brokerage account. And I think the strategy that I'm looking to deploy fits a little bit better in M1 Finance. You don't need M1 Finance if you're just looking to buy the S&P outright uh, and buy VOO. You can just jam that into a Roth IRA. You can do it through M1 Finance. But I just think that 
it, it really fits more to the strategy of using this uh, target allocation package that comes with M1, the ability to throw a singular amount of money at M1 Finance and allow M1 Finance to disperse those dollars in a manner that you uh, designate. And I, I think that this is just a, a better fit for M1 Finance. It is somewhat exploratory. Not everybody has to invest this way. But for you guys out there that contribute to a 401k, a 403b, a 457 type of a program, you're already getting your free match. Maybe you're with Vanguard through your 401k already, your 403. Uh, maybe you're looking for a little bit of a hybrid type of layer in the portfolio. This can satisfy that uh, investor need for um, a, a little bit more of a, a broader based type of application, which again, I understand this is wealth building for me in the capacity that I've declared to you. And uh, this volatility that's kicked up as of late has, has uh, brought this portfolio down just a little bit. But you can see here the returns are nothing to be uh, ignored. Uh, these are real results. Um, these are uh, 11 investments that have um, made wonderful money for, relatively speaking, the amount of money. The biggest holding here is technology at 3,200, which technology has just been crushed. You can see here that the sector ha is, is now under underweight a little bit uh, at 14% um, at uh, target allocation, and it sits at 13.4. That's due to the, the recent roll-off. And you can see here healthcare a uh, little bit under allocated as well. When you come down here to some of these other names, I think, you know, energy is probably over. Yeah, because it's just run up. And that happens with the flex and, and the push and the pull between the sectors. Now, while technology is selling off, you're going to find that other sectors are going to benefit from that sector rotation. Well, I benefit from that. I benefit in a big way from that sector rotation as technology is selling off, some of these other uh, portfolios or some of these other sectors are benefiting from that roll-off and vice versa. Um, when some of the other uh, uh, sectors are underperforming, you know, I've got those other sectors that are outperforming. I mean, look, look at energy. I'm, I'm up $1,228 on just over a $2,000 investment here. That, that's insane. Now, those aren't real dollars flowing into the to this it's far less than this this is the total amount the total value um, in this in this energy ETF but just nothing to shake a stick at um, again for the amount of time that I devote to this portfolio it really does help to provide some validation for investors out there that are looking for something uh, in way of very low maintenance if any I mean this portfolio again you could take and you could use it on your own and, and fund it with as little as, you know, $25 if that's what you want. You can start with as little as you want and get yourself conditioned to um, the power of investing in the stock market. But I, I demonstrate these as uh, an opportunity for young investors who are uh, looking at their options. Um, this is not to get rich overnight. And, and I think a lot of people are looking for that. If that's what you're looking for, you can skip over my channel and go somewhere else. Uh, I, I'm not I'm not really interested in pursuing luck as a, a method to my financial security in my future. If that's what you're you're pursuing, great. I can't teach you to get lucky. I can't. Uh, what I can teach you is the philosophies and the brackets of swim lanes that I've put this portfolio uh, and others that I teach upon uh, on a path to longer term wealth using diversification and dollar cost averaging in this portfolio. And this is just a part of my collective whole. And for you guys that can buy into that, I think you can uh, identify with it requires a lot less luck uh, and a lot more adherence to wealth building over time. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this Vanguard's uh, sector portfolio review. We'll roll these out from time to time. These are aimed to provide uh, opportunities and testimonials to what is possible with the power of investing in the stock market. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.